ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 14th of January. This is the afternoon edition. Everybody buzzing about this midweek storm. Will it rain, sleet, snow, ice? What's up with that? Let's talk about it. Here's a look at some Skycam shots on this chilly January day coming from the Skycam network. And you know, Gulf Shores, it's also nice during the wintertime. It's certainly not as crowded. Look at that. Beautiful view looking back off to the west from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. There's our Coleman Skycam. Now, typically, that scene would be pretty much full of water. That's right uh, on top of Lake Katoma, but... Not much water left in the pond up there. We still have a long way to go to get out of this drought. And there's plenty of water in that pond. That's the Alabama River as seen from the Sky Cam in Selma down in Dallas County. Always a nice shot there. Well, let's see what we got here. There's the big picture, and you can see the trouble potential brewing. A big cold trough in the east. An upper-level storm that is uh, off to the southeast of Arizona, of Phoenix, Arizona, in uh, that will be spinning up a storm in the Gulf of Mexico, and how that interacts with the cold air will determine if we get rain, sleet, snow, or ice Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Sure enough, cold. That's some of the coldest air we've seen all year. Got some uh, temperatures down to 15 below zero. That's at uh, late morning over Minnesota and North Dakota. And uh, J.B. Elliott noted on the blog this morning that parts of Alaska have been colder than 50 below zero this morning. Really getting cold over the northern part of the continent. Here's the latest QPF chart, and as expected, the guys have pulled the precipitation mass northward. On this latest update, uh, they've got some uh, good one-inch rains through a pretty good chunk of Alabama. Two-inch rains down there in the Texas coastal plain, and they might even bend it a little farther north, depending on how the, all of the uh, models look in coming days. But uh, that's our midweek system. And, of course, the big question, will it snow on Alabama? Well, let's take a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Tuesday, cold trough in the east. There's our big Vortmax over Old Mexico. And tomorrow will be cool and dry. Highs only in the 40s now. It's going to be a chilly day. But Wednesday, here we go. The uh, trough is coming at us from the west. And let's get right down below that and take a look at our surface storm. And I'll tell you up front now, the GFS is warmer than the NAM. This is valid at noon on Wednesday. Uh, in fact, the uh, GFS showing rain moving up in here at midday Wednesday. We'll go to midnight Wednesday night, and the GFS has a rain event for the state. Surface low near or just below Pensacola. We'll peak at the 850 millibar chart. This is about 5,000 feet off the ground. We're looking for a purple line in there. That's the freeze line or a zero degree Celsius, and it's awfully close to Nashville. So, again, the GFS is suggesting all rain with this thing Wednesday night. But hang on now. Let's look at the NAM, North American Mesoscale model. And by golly, it's got that freeze line, which can be a fairly effective rain snow line. Uh, somewhere just north of Birmingham at midnight Wednesday night, and this would suggest the opportunity for snowflakes primarily north of U.S. 278 or north of a line from Hamilton to Coleman to Gadsden and maybe some good snowflakes. Now we'll go to Wednesday morning. I'm sorry, Thursday morning at 6 o'clock. This is off the NAM again, and there is some warm air advection with that surface low initially pushing the line north, but then you get cold air advection on the backside, and that's suggesting a nice snow there for the northern half of Mississippi into northwest and uh, far northeast Alabama. That would be north of a line from about Russellville to Scottsboro. And that would suggest some accumulating snow Wednesday night for that far northern part of the state. And then we go into noon on Thursday. And as the cold air advection continues, that uh, freeze line has dropped south again down to near Birmingham. So maybe a change to uh, snow back on the backside of the system. So... Uh, it's the typical model madness. The NAM is suggesting a chance of some accumulating snow for the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. The GFS is saying all rain for the entire state. Uh, and the bottom line is we just don't think we'll change a lot in our forecast package. Uh, we will mention uh, mainly rain from Birmingham South, maybe uh, snowflakes mixed in there late Wednesday night and Thursday morning. The greatest chance of bridge icing with temperatures near freezing would be along and north of U.S. 278, and the greatest chance of accumulating snow would be in the Tennessee Valley, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Scottsboro. 
But as you all know, sure, this can change. A couple of other graphics on this event. This is a look at the uh, NAM precipitation type at midnight Wednesday night. And this is showing uh, that the darker blue, that's snow over the Tennessee Valley. And again, that US 278 line is a pretty good one for that. And this is the total accumulated precipitation over the next uh, four days coming off the NAM. Uh, of course, on the upper left, that's rain, liquid, and that looks pretty good. Boy, we'll take that. That's one inch of rain, maybe some one and a half inch totals there. On the upper right, that is the snow accumulation. And again, you can see a little bit of snow showing up there uh, over the Tennessee Valley or really north of Highway 278. Uh, down lower left, that's sleet. And on the lower right, that's freezing rain. And we note a pretty significant amount of that showing up maybe over eastern Tennessee and north Georgia. And there could be some over north Alabama with temperatures near freezing. And uh, after that, we'll go on to midday Thursday. And the GF, we're back on the GFS now. It's got the rain ending at midday. Friday, boy, cold air begins to deepen. Look at that big uh, surface high coming down out of Canada. And look at Saturday. It looks awfully cold, doesn't it? That's the uh, 500 millibar chart. Uh, below that, there's the surface look Saturday at midday. That's cold. I, let me tell you what, even Birmingham will have a hard time getting above freezing if that's right. And look at the depiction off the uh, European Saturday. You talk about cold. Get out of here. It's a cross-polar flow. And uh, temperatures up there almost down to minus 40 degrees Celsius at 850 over northern Canada. That's as extreme as it ever gets. And uh, down here, we got a 1,030 millibar high sitting on top of us. I'm really beginning to think that for Birmingham, we might have a hard time getting out of the uh, low 30s on Saturday. And then Sunday, the surface highs right over us. Uh, we should be way down in the teens at that point. Maybe some single digits for the colder valleys over northeast Alabama. And then Monday of next week, look what's back. Here comes the next wave, and uh, we've got rain moving in here, but the GFO, uh, GFS shows enough modification so that it is liquid and not snow Monday of next week. But, you know, let's get through this midweek system before we even think about dealing with that. And then on uh, Tuesday, the uh, 22nd, look at the cold air delivery mechanism with that thing, and at the surface, again, we've got this rain thing going on down here and a big snow going on just north of here. That's a really suspicious pattern, and I'm afraid somebody might have some ice issues there as that cold air is going to be thin on the uh, edges there. And then on the 23rd, that's gone, and it's awfully cold. But you see why we're thinking cold and unsettled will kind of be the themes here for the rest of this month. And speaking of that, there's the end of January. Cold, you bet, still a cold-looking pattern. And again, that looks rainy and maybe icy for some folks around here. So lots of fun and games coming up in the weather office. We'll watch it carefully. The next Weather Extreme video will be here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. And, of course, notes on the blog throughout the day as all of the data rolls in. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.